hurt in your chest? Um, at the moment, no, I do not have any in, um, discomfort in my chest. I don't even remember almost at this point, because like I said, that was when I'm, I had the surgery when I was about 18, almost 19, something like that. And I'm now 24, so it's been a good six-ish years since the surgery. So it's kind of hazy of what it was like to actually have the hole in my chest. And it's, it's really weird to even think that I used to have that now because until I tell people, no one else really knows. And until I kind of push on it to remind myself that I have a hole still, I don't really notice it too much. I mean, there's some things that make me notice it, like um, my arms are a little off and my chest is a little off. This I think it's the way that they cut through my chest kind of made my arms and um, chest, the muscles off a little bit, the way that they went through. I don't know exactly for sure. Or it could be the fact that my chest was the deformed, making one peg bigger than the other, which would take away from the other muscles groups when you're working out, which has caused me a little bit of imbalances that I've had to work through. But I've gone through pretty well, so I don't know uh, for that question of the um, feeling any discomfort of before the surgery. After the surgery, of course, there's going to be discomfort because you just had a bar shoved through your chest and all that fun stuff. Um, or, or is it completely healed? So now it's completely healed and I have no chest pains, irritations besides the slight numbness right here. I mean, it's a little weird like when people touch me here just because it's still like just feels weird because I was born with it sunken in and not a lot of things touched my chest right in here. So every once in a while it gets a little weird and it's a little sensitive right in here just because it's never been touched a lot because it's all been sunken in and my shirts or seatbelts or stuff when I touch it. So it's always sensitive. Um, please answer me. I'm Tony and have PE. So there's that question. Next question says, I'm considering the nuts bar. How long will it take after the surgery until you can work out again? Um, they say about three months until you can work out. Um, if you're probably active, you can kind of figure out ways to work around it. I mean, you gotta understand people go through surgery all the time and they're forced to move. So, I mean, after the surgery of the bar coming out, I remember I was not supposed to work out for two weeks. I worked out a week later and mainly was focusing on um, any muscles that had nothing to do with uh, my chest and back. So I was doing a lot of arms and shoulders and traps and random like legs and different stuff like that. So you can work around it, um, but just be careful with any kind of pressing movements like bench press or rows, because you did just get cut right in through there and you don't want to tear anything and have any kind of bleeding or tear anything. So Whew, there's a lot of questions. This is going to be a nice long video of like 15 minutes where I'm hoping I can condense this down. Next one. Hey man, looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, do you have rib flare along with PE? I do now, and I'll get to that right at the end of this question because I think you asked more. Uh, and if so, did pushing your chest out fix those ribs? So before the surgery, I did have a little bit, I believe, of rib flare. I never really noticed it. Um, so I was thinking it might actually push it down when I had the bar stuck in my chest, but which I'll probably try to lift up my shirt. I'm in where I shouldn't be. <laughs> lifting my shirt up. Um, after the surgery, it kind of pushed my um, ribs out more. So I actually developed more of a rib flare after the surgery. So you can kind of see like my stomach does stick a little forward, even though I'm lean and my chest doesn't protrude as much as it should for how much muscle I have on it because my rib cage is deformed. So it's really hard for me to really show you because I do have so much honestly now compared to then muscle on me but my ribs kind of, like you can kind of imagine, flare out right here, and then they dip in, and then they come back right into my chest and go flat, so it's really weird, and it's like shaped different on each side, so. I got a uh, rib flare after the surgery and didn't really have it before, so it can cause rib flare, which it's like kind of a, a give and take. I'd rather have a flat chest and a little bit of rib flare than a hole and no rib flare, so I don't really care about that. It's whatever, you can't really notice it. Um, it just makes my stomach just look a little different, which you don't really notice unless I say anything, so. <laughs> Next question is, let's see. Those before and after pictures, those before and after pictures, wow. I'm 18 and interested in the surgery. Um, really big on running, just got into lifting, so I'm wondering the guidelines they had give you for straightening yourself with the bar in. You mentioned three months without heavy exercise. So yeah, 
three months, they say to keep it easy before you go back to normal stuff. And depending on what normal stuff is, like me, it was motocross. They told me not to go back to motocross, um, which I believe, I think I probably did a little bit, but you just gotta be careful. You don't wanna crash and kill yourself or whatever. <laughs> um, next question, how much difference did you notice in stamina and endurance after the surgery? Um, honestly, I was never an endurance athlete or did a lot of stuff like that. I used to skate a lot and that was about it. Um, I did notice there was an improvement in stamina and I didn't get out of breath as much. Um, the amount wasn't crazy, um, but it was noticeable. So, hey man, I have a PE2. Uh, I'm thinking about the surgery. Mine is quite mild, but I still feel that I could look much better without the pectus. How long did it take you to have serious workout after the surgery. Um, I didn't start working out till after the surgery, so it was about, I think, four months after the surgery, after turning 18, maybe six, I think, I'm not sure. I started working out when I was like almost like 18 and a half, 19. So, and once I got into it, I didn't know what I was doing right away, so it, it took me a while to be serious into lifting anyway. So I can't really answer that question because I wasn't into lifting before the surgery, I was into lifting after the surgery, so. Unfortunately, I can't really answer that one too well. I would say you could probably start seriously lifting about three, four months into it, lifting heavy probably four or five months after the surgery. All right, let's see. Hey Cole, may I ask how many bars did you have um, in, um, in congratulations on all your hard work? I'm sure you were just as cool before the surgery. My son is 15 and a half age looking for a nest procedure and I am scared to death for him. Is it that bad? Okay, so that's, this is like two questions. So I only had one bar in, that's an easy uh, one to answer. There I only had one bar, some people have to get two. I don't think anyone has more than two, but I only luckily needed one. Um, and they, she says, is it that bad? And it depends, it's probably worse for the parent or person going through the surgery with the other person. For me, it wasn't that bad. Like I said in my other video, I was so drugged up, I don't even really remember too much. I remember a couple times waking up in the hospital not knowing where I was and what was going on and puking and all that fun stuff or waking up in a like manic state because all my med or drugs wore off or whatever, so I was in pain. But for the most part, I don't remember the five days being in the hospital. And then for after the hospital, I was still on so much pain meds that I don't even remember that too much as well. So it's not that bad. Um, it, it's kind of bad for the person watching the person go through it because they think they're gonna remember this and they're going through all this stuff, but after it's all said and done, they're healed, they don't even really remember it. Like, I don't really remember too much of it. I just hear the stories that people tell me of what I did and what happened to me, so. All right, next one is, I want to know how much the surgery costs. I already answered that, I don't know. <laughs> um, I got weird pectus exavatum, which only one of my chest sunk in, so only one side. So either A, I think it's atypical or B typical or whatever, it's like certain sides that dip in. The other is normal. The doctor said, I don't need to have the surgery because I don't have pain. Please help me though. I feel insecure about it. Um, can I, okay, so the best thing I could say is that you have to, well, my doctor anyways, my, I had a pediatrician at the time or whatever, telling, he told me when I was going to get all the testing done to make it a little worse than it was. So they tell you to do all kinds of stuff like where they take a scan of your chest and you're supposed to breathe in as deep as you can to expand the ribcage and then breathe all your air out and sit and get another scan. So he told you, told me anyways, to only take a half breath in, hold it, and then breathe all the way out. So you gotta kind of fake it. I mean, I, I probably exaggerated my symptoms a little bit just to get it covered by insurance or whatever. Like, oh, fraud, oops. <laughs> but um, I didn't, I needed the surgery regardless and I wasn't gonna wait for insurance because insurances are bullshit anyways and they try to find any excuse not to help you out. So fuck them sometimes, unfortunately. That's something you might have to do then do that. <laughs> can you do athletic activities with the bar in your chest? You can do athletic activities. I still skated and got into working out with the bar in my chest. So yes, you can still be active with the bar in your chest after you've kind of healed and gotten back to normal. So many people asking about how much it costs. I have no idea, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> so it says, how long does it take for the cuts to heal is this next question pretty much. Um, the cuts are the incisions heal really fast. It's more about the internal stuff that you gotta worry about, not really the actual cuts in your side. Like, like heals in like two weeks. You're, I think two weeks after I was peeling all the stuff off of it, maybe even faster than that, because I actually had a allergic reaction to the tape that they put on there. So I pulled it off really fast and it was pretty healed. Um, and plus they give you stitches that dissolve, 
Sorry, there's a trash truck outside. The UV stitches that dissolve, so you don't even have to go back to get them pulled. You're kind of just waiting for everything to heal. So the next one says, I am 25. Am I too old to get this done now? This is an old question, so hopefully he did or didn't do the surgery or whatever. Um, I believe you can have it up to 26. I remember one of the best or main videos I watched um, was someone who was, I think, 26 who fainted um, and then went to the doctors and they rushed him into emergency surgery. So you can still get it at 26. I'm not sure what the oldest is. Um, I do know the recommended age. I think it's somewhere between 12 and 14. And I even got it, the surgery done a little later than I was supposed to. Someone says, do you know if the uh, operation is expensive? Yes, it is expensive. <laughs> I don't know how much, but I do know it was expensive. Uh, how long did you have to wait post before working out again? Uh, I would say you'd have to wait about four months, like I said before answering that question, before you can kind of work out. So that's pretty much it for this quick Q&A for pectus excavatum. I hope it helps some people out, hopefully. Anyone who watched that video, I'll probably try to link it in that description to send them to this video where I answered that question. I'll probably have to do more because it gets so many questions and so many new questions all the time to answer more of them. Um, but at the end of the day, the surgery was worth it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, I feel so much better, so much. I was really insecure about it before. I have a lot more confidence now and just helped me a lot. And even though it was painful, I would definitely do it again. I'd recommend it to anyone who's having problems with pectus excavatum um, or self-conscious about it. I would just say, get it done, get it out the way. It's really easy. It's not as bad as the doctors kind of make it think, uh, seem. It's really easy to get done. You don't really remember too much. You're really drugged up. The hardest part is honestly the three months of not being able to be active, um, but you're so drugged up. That goes by fast too. I mean, I was like high shit in school all day long because of all the drugs they were giving me for the last for the three months after the surgery. So that time goes by really fast as well. Um, so just get it done. If you're thinking about it, just I would say if your insurance covers it, just do it and get out the way. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like the content I produce, I do a lot of fitness content out here. This is a different video, not really fitness related, um, but I do a lot of fitness content. Um, I need to probably start making more pectus escalatum stuff uh, about how to build your chest and different things like that for you guys. Um, if you guys would like to see stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm trying to get back to everyone as fast as I can. Um, so like I said, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more if you wanna follow me for more fitness advice and see you guys in the next video.